Welcome to this video on the topic of vectors. In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can use our technology to aid us in calculating the dot product of two vectors. Now the dot product is a mathematical operation that may be applied to two vectors. The dot product involves the sum of the multiplication of corresponding elements of two vectors. The result of a dot product is a scalar value. Now consider we have vectors A and B. As mentioned up here, what we're going to do is we multiply the corresponding elements, so A1, B1, A2, B2, A3, B3, and we sum them all together, so the plus and the plus. And what this gives us is the dot product of vectors A and B. The way in which we state this is we say A dot B. Okay, let's have a look at an example. First thing we'll do here is we'll do the manual calculation of A dot B, and then I'll show you how to use your technology to automate this. Now consider we have the vectors A and B. If we want to do the dot product, then what we need to do is, we're effectively going to say, vector A over here, dot vector B over here. Performing the operation, we simply multiply all the corresponding elements together and then we sum them all together. And thus, you see that a dot b yields a scalar value of negative 11. Now that we can do the manual calculation, let's have a look at how we can use our calculators to automate this. We say up we come, we go into mode one, run matrix, and then we need to input our two vectors, vector a and vector b. To do this, I'll press exit a few times to be on the top menu, F3 to go into map vec, and then I may have to press F6 to navigate over to my vector menu. I'm going to input these vectors as a 3 by one vector. Now I simply type them in. That's vector A. And now vector B. Now applying the dot product between vectors A and B, I go to Option, Map Vec, then I go across and I look for dot P. I click on dot P, I throw in two vectors and then close the parentheses. I go back, the first vector I'm looking at is vector A, comma, and then the second vector is alpha B. So the dot product of A and B. I simply go execute and lo and behold it shows me that the value of the dot product of A and B is minus 11. Now let's have a look at a slightly more convoluted question. The mathematics is still the same, however the presentation is slightly more vexing. We are in the IJK representation here for a vector. I need to put this in a form that my calculator will accept, which is a column vector. So I'll go 3, 2, minus 4, or i, j, k, and then I've got i, missing j, I've got a k. So I go minus 2, missing j, then k. Now I'm ready to go for it. I simply say up, we come to my calculator. Uh, I will go back to the top menu and go into map vec. And what I'll do is I'll remove vectors A and B by deleting all, and then I'll import vectors A and B in place of A and B that were on here, so C and D. So this is going to be a three by one. Three, two, minus four. Three by one, minus two, zero and three exit and then because I've already got this set up in here I don't have to mess around in the menus for vectors I can simply go execute and boom instantly we see that our output or our dot product between vectors C and D is going to be negative 18 so in summary what we had a look at in this video was how we can calculate the dot product of two vectors efficiently using our Casio calculators. Thank you.